let us try to make a hut of an indian village the hut is basically made up of thatched roof uh, and uh, the walls are made up of mud and clay as you may be seeing in india and various villages you'll find these huts as simple structures basically it it is made up of uh, a skeletal structure which is of bamboo sticks and wooden strips which are cut and tied down in this manner and then the walls are made up of mud and clay and there is an entrance without a door and if at all there is there may be one existing small window so this is the general structure of a typical indian village hut now how do we paint this first and foremost as all of us know it is a thatched roof that is it is made up of straw and hay put and tied on these wooden strips which is a skeletal structure we will make use of three four colors one is the yellow ochre then the naples yellow burnt sienna and a little bit of black and we mix yellow ochre burnt sienna and a touch of black to make a muddy mixture which i will paint from top downwards the roof is a rather conical structure so i paint from bottom top downwards with a dark mixture of burnt sienna yellow ochre and a hint of black in that so it gives you this kind of a feel now before i finalize i would first paint the walls generally the walls are of mud and clay the floor is often of cow dung and the walls will be rather muddy so i make use of naples yellow and a little of little of yellow ochre and i would first paint the walls of the hut now presuming light striking this hut from one side preferably from maybe from this side from the left side i first paint the walls with a little thick coat of paint little water and then allow this to dry for some time once dry i prefer to first paint the shadows cast by this thatched roof on the front and the side walls of the hut in this manner mix yellow ochre with a little touch of black and start painting the shadows cast over the walls take care to see that your brush stroke doesn't travel out of the hut because the the shadow cannot go out of the hut so it has to be exactly over the wall and maybe on the sides the entire entire wall may go into shadow so i overlap it with the shadow color made by mixing yellow ochre and black a hint of black
Now once this is done, allow this to dry and overlap these base strokes which you have given with yellow ochre with the same tiny brush at times allowing the underlying layer of darks to peep through the subsequent layer of color. So it's the yellow ochre which is going on right now. Try and keep the shape of the roof of the hut conical and put in several strokes to make it look as if it is a thatched roof. Yellow ochre. Now for the shadow areas which are on the right side you may introduce a little bit of burnt sienna and a touch of black once more to keep it in shadow. The brush must be held almost vertical, stretching out your little finger and using it as a support, collecting a lot of paint on the tip of the brush and the brush held vertical, you can give several strokes to show the right side of the of the hut in shadow now as you come to the left side which is more illuminated you may wipe, wash the brush, wipe the brush and collect some Naples yellow and add some Naples yellow strokes over the semi-dry mixture. You can add these a little carefully so as to maintain the texture of the thatched roof. Several times the brush is struck over the, the left side which is in light and then gradually allowing it to disappear into the shadow areas. As you will appreciate, since we have already done the shadow areas first, the subsequent application of Naples yellow strokes on top of the shadow areas builds the shadows very naturally and effortlessly. Now yellow ochre once again. Also occasional strokes of burnt sienna mixed with yellow ochre to maintain the shadow tones. I wash the brush and strike out some pure Naples yellow strokes to indicate extra light on the left side. So here is our hut, but without entrance it looks a little odd, hence I just pick up a little touch of black to burn sienna and make a sort of an entrance. I would not call it a door because it, it lacks the uh, requirements of a door. 
these poor people who live in such huts have nothing to hide from anyone and so practically they have no doors instead there are entrances where you and i can barely sneak into now see if you just add a little one more line here it sculpts out the the door or the entrance showing the thickness of the wall now if you wish to maintain a little bit of ventilation you may just show a show a small little window here now if if you wish you may show a little bit of grass or weeds growing about here and there at the foot of the hut i make use of a cut brush the cut brush is nothing but a small brush pointed brush which is the tip of which is uh, chopped off using a scissors it is useful to produce the textures of weeds grasses and a bit of shrubs So here we are making a cozy little hut typically found in India in various villages Thank you very much and if you have liked the video please touch the the like button and also subscribe to this channel Thank you once again